Hi everyone, this is Louise from TeamSoft and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload a file from Excel to SAP Business One. So first of all I'm going to show you the menu location and then we're going to have a look at a couple of the errors that are common occurrences when uploading a file like this. So we start by going to administration dot import dot import and import from Excel. So from here you can choose templates for your different types of master data and map the fields from your spreadsheet to the fields in the database. So I've prepared a spreadsheet with some new items that I want to upload to the database. So we can add the item groups, price lists, prices, preferred suppliers, all the usual data that we use. We put it into the spreadsheet and then we format it. So the first error that comes up is adding the base price list. So we can't actually use the name of the price list we have to go and find the code. So if we go to price list and price list and have a look at base price, we see here that it's actually price list number 11. So we use that as a code instead of the name. So we can add that. Next of all, the next thing we have to do is to have a look at the template and make sure that it matches the fields that we have. So if we choose items, it's very easy to select most of the fields, but when it comes to price list, price list actually comes with several fields of its own, and whether you use them or not, they have to be part of the template. So anything else that you want after that should be added to the bottom, and we can leave a blank space on our spreadsheet for the fields that we don't need. So that means now that we're going to have to move one of our fields from our spreadsheet, which is the preferred supplier, down towards the end of the sheet, which we're actually going to put it into column L, because it's in L on the business one template. So I'm deliberately going to create an error here for the unit measure code because it's something that's part of the price list template, but it's something that may not be on your spreadsheet because it's not something that would be a, a usual entry. So I'm leaving it out now so we can see the error because it's something that you might come across. At the, we'll come back to it in a few minutes. So just to show you how to save it now, we're going to go and save it. Oh, first of all, we have to remove the header. Always remove the header or it, this one thinks it's data. And then we're going to save it as our text file. So it's a text tab delivered file. We say yes for this. I already have one, so I'm just going to save over that one. Um, we say OK here and then we don't want to continue using the format because we want to keep our spreadsheet as an Excel file so you can say no now and cancel that. So we always close our spreadsheet and our text file when we're uploading or you'll get an error. So this is our first attempt. We're going to click import. So saying, oh no, you haven't got a unit of measure code for this item. And that's because it's something maybe that you wouldn't consider uploading. So we're going to just add it in. The error is quite straightforward and it tells you that you need to, all new items need to be manual. If you had a read of it, it will explain it to you. So we're going to cancel out of this and go back and create another field in our spreadsheet. So we'll move that back out to where it was. And in the next column over, going to add manual and again remove your headers and save it as a text file so save as tab delimited text file say say yep yeah. okay and we don't need to keep using that format we'll close it again and we'll have another go so again, choose your items. It works perfectly well, exactly the same way for business partners and price lists. Choose the file, which is our text file. Click import and we'll see now at the bottom that it's working and our items are uploading. So it's really that simple. Just create a quick spreadsheet and save it.